Right, welcome to my fourth edition of the Beginner's Guide to World of Warcraft. Uh, you can say this is not a leveling guide of sorts, this is more like which add-ons am I using. Uh, I had some guys questioning me, what add-ons uh, add are you using uh, for this and for that? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go through which add-on I'm using and going to go through the LFUI user interface setup and how to set it up so it fits you personally and how how you set it up so it fits your individual classes and specs that you have. So without further ado, I would just like to start with, if you don't have it already, go to this website, curse.com and download the client for PC. There is a Mac option as well somewhere on that side. I couldn't really find it or just Google it and you will find it there. Also, I will need you to go to this website, tokui.org. I will link them both down in the description and download this Elf UI. Right, once that is done, then you should open up your Curse Client in order to download these add-ons. Um, a few add-ons on this list that I would like you to take notice of is Arc Inventory and Tell Me When. Um, Arc Inventory is a different add-on for your bags. LVI has their own bag, what can you say, add-on, implemented in their UI interface. Um, but I'm using Arc Inventory because I find the adjustability of it way easier to to manage than the one that is incorporated in elf ui also tell me when is an add-on that is extremely useful for tracking certain or various cooldowns spells abilities on bosses debuffs and buffs and so on and so forth i will not go through all these add-ons in this video this video is specifically about um the setup of my elf ui so let's just get to it then. All right, here we are. We entered the world. I did it on my shaman instead of my paladin because uh, he's leveling and I didn't have access to the experience bar, which is down here. Your UI right now should look similar to this. Up here, you will have something called tell me when and underneath that, you will have like a text box. On the tell me when thing, you press the button that says exit tell me when or exit the term when configuration, it says something, the left, the most left uh, option that you have. And underneath that you have a text box, press OK to that. It's meant to be there, there's nothing wrong with it. Right, then down here with the Elf UI installation. Right now I would like you to just shut this down. On the top right corner you will have your minimap by default, there's a little C out here. If that's not available, press enter backslash E C and enter you will get the same menu out so what I want you to do is go down to the second one on the bottom called profiles press that and I want you to create a new profile because everything you change in elf UI will stick to that current profile you have right now you see right now I don't have any I have this is my shaman or this is my realm or whatever it is. So you can just adjust this LVI add-on, this user interface to whatever class and whatever spec you're playing at the moment. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to call this, no, going to call this DBS and press OK. Once you've done that, go to install, you can call it tank or whatever, whatever you, suits your needs, you go to install set up siva you can read about this uh it's not really that much of a point this is just to set it up set up sivas set up chat you can always change this i set up chat because i like my loot chat or trade chat to be on my right and i like my general and guild and uh, what is there looking for group and so on and so forth to my left so set up chat it chat if you so choose to continue um this is how you want it to appear. As you see, it changes coloring down here. Classic is classic. Dark is just like a very black thing. Theme and class theme. This will then change according to which class you're on. If you're on Druid, this will be orange. If you are on Hunter, this will be greenish. Right, so I always choose class like that the most. Continue. High resolution depending on your computer. Entirely depending on your computer. And um, continue. This doesn't matter. If you click healer, 
it will bring this text box up to see or to tell you, you it is recommended that you download an add-on called click to have the click to heal function. I don't use that. I use a separate one for healing, but right now I'm not healing at all. So I'm just going to take a uh, physical DPS. Continue. It doesn't really matter. Auras and bars. We will get back to why you should take auras and bars later on. Continue and finish and it will load. And for technical support, you can visit takui.org. Just disable this. Otherwise you will see it every time that you log in. Right. Once that is done, press enter. EC or the little C up here in the corner and you we will look now at these different bars The first thing I always do is I want to get rid of this bottom bar down here You can also choose to have a top bar if you want it. It's completely optional, but I don't like it I think it's uh, annoying to watch and another thing is down up in here when you press the toggle anchors You will see what it is. We are gonna work with don't be afraid. It's not that difficult. It's just Everything is movable. You can move everything around. There's not, that's not a thing that is stuck with LFUI. Everything is customizable. But what I like to do is, because that's how I prefer it, is change my grid size to 70. Boom. That's all I want to do here. That's what I do now. Right. So this also has an automatic with gray vendor option. So if you don't want to use memory or whatever on the cell junk add on, you just want it to do it by yourself, you can uh, adjust it here. You can press vendor grace automatically whenever you visit the vendor. Auto scale, leave it as it is. AFK mode is really fun actually. When you go AFK, I think it's for five minutes, the screen will rotate a bit and on the bottom right corner of your, of your screen, your character will do a little dance. Or is it left corner? I don't remember. Your character will do a little dance for you. And so it has some sort of cinematic it's cool enough to see right let's go back down to sorry we have no stay in general over here we have all the different options media for instance this is the general media you can change the font of everything everything so if you change something in here it will have an effect on everything in the game uh, within the text-based game so if in your chat it will be something else if you want um Electro feed or anime age or whatever you want. I'm I'm leaving it as it is because I like it the best that way. Minimap. You see, I miss if if you are already a, a player of this game, you will see I'm missing, and I'm in my garrison right now. You will see I'm missing actually a button up here, the garrison button. To make that appear, go to your minimap general minimap garrison, and you can you can you can scale the minimap. Why? Oh, no, it's not that. Um, it's hide, except so it's no longer hiding. See, this was the one I could scale. I just like it really small, just so I know it's up there. Top left or bottom or wherever you want it, right? Bottom, where was it? Top left? Yeah, just leave it there. Good. Minimap, mouse over, hide. Or minimap, with the text of it you see up here. You can change the size of the minimap. Don't worry about those black corners out there. It will adjust accordingly. And you also have the calendar. So you can choose to hide or show it up there on the minimap. Scale it if you want to. Position it wherever you want. Looking for Q, that is the little greenish um thingy magic that will appear whenever you queue for a I can just queue for a dungeon. See there? That one? Dungeon finder. I tend to just leave it as it is. Because it's fine. Mail, where will mail appear? Uh somewhere. I can't really send myself something, but somewhere you will see a mail icon. I think it's up here. It will it will appear. Instance difficulty, leave it as it is. Challenge mode, leave vehicle. Leave vehicle is very interesting actually because that will appear right here. If you're in a vehicle, you will have a small. Uh, does it work on mounts? No, it doesn't. You will have a small, tiny arrow, white arrow right here, and you, that is how you exit a vehicle. Good. Now that is done. What else should we start to look at? Yes, 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 yes. Experience bar. You see it down here. 
You can, like I said, you can move everything around. I like my experience bar to be down here. It's not in my face. It's just it's around this area, which is completely fine with me. You can move it around however you choose. If you want it there, you can have it there. You can even adjust the height of it or the width of it. So if you want a long one, small one, oriental vertically. So the experience bars go that way and not that way and put it on top of your screen. Boom. So it's right up there. You can do that. Actually, I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's fine. Experience bar, the same thing with the reputation bar. I'm not tracking anyone, but I can show you by reputation, show experience bar right here. Bottom left corner. I can do the same thing with that as I just did with the experience bar. Move it around, change it a lot if I want to. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, threat. Threat is displayed down here where you see I have my FPS and the time and the gold. Whenever you're in combat, your threat will indicate down here. One would debate a threat even a thing. It's not going to go into that, but it will indicate down here. It might be useful for you if you are a tank and need to know. I don't know, but the threat will be indicating down here. I tend to just have it enabled. Really, you can choose where to have it. Left chat or right chat, up to you. Class bar. Now, which one do you think the class bar is? Let's find it. Class bar is this one. Let's move it up here so you can see. Look what happens when I throw down a totem. This is what happens. So you can change the, the size of it. And can I put two down? Yes, I can. Bottom spacing, close bottom size, ascending, descending. I just tend to leave it as it is because it works for me. Well, now I can see, oh, I got those two totems down. I'm just gonna leave them there. Fine. And cooldown text, leave it as it is. I would say you see it's yellow. Days, you don't have anything which have day, maybe some items in the world, doesn't really matter. And objective frame. That's the one out here. You can again move these around to, if you want to have your objective frames over here, you can. You can change the height, the width of it positioning and so on and so forth good i think it's all in the general tab right here action bars right action bars boss button that's this one you can move this around by the way it's this one this big one you can even pull you don't have to have a boss button right here you can pull it down to your action bar so it's down there instead or you can just leave it out there as it is uh, I'm just gonna move this for the sake of this video. Right, micro bar. Now, what is the micro bar? The micro bar is this up here. And I like it to be underneath my minimap and adjust it to that. Chocolate anchors. Is that about under the minimap? No, just yet, but. Just about. Oh, every time that you do something, you have to press lock. Yeah, it's fine there. And I like to mouse over. Everything here is mouse over. Mouse over so it's not in my face all the time. Right? That's good. Bar one, bar two, and all of, and all of these. But let's wait a minute. Stance bar. You don't see a stance bar right now because it's up here on your left corner. Right. I just locked my paladin to show you the stance bar. You see it's up here? You can toggle anchors and move it to wherever you choose. And you can also adjust it, just like you're adjusting everything else. Never mind. So that is the, that is the stance bar. What, but what about the pet bar? I don't have a pet right now, so how would that look? It would look something like this. I just locked my hunter so you can see. I have a pet here. Diahorn is my current pet. Toggle anchors. Move it around a bit. See again, I got my class bar, my stance bar there, I don't use it now. And something else is missing. What is that? That is the pet bar out here. It by default sits out there. This is my pet's attack options. So how to move and change that for my pets? Action bars, pet bar. Now, which one was the pet bar? Hmm. Oh, that one. 
So I tend to like it because I know how I want my UI to look like. So I have a preset in my head. I don't like backdrop, so I'm going to remove the backdrop of it. A button size of 25, button spacing 2, 10 buttons per row, yes. Uh, buttons per row 5. I'm going to leave it right there as it is now. Now moving on to the bags. As I told you, I have a bag add-on called Arc Inventory. I'm going to show you how it looks like right now. Just pressing B, this is my Arc Inventory. It looks weird right now. It looks like one bag. It looks like the exact same bag as a, a, a bag none or the bag that this Elf UI already has. But I like this better because this is adjustable for everything. I'm going to go through that in, a, in, a, in another video. Yeah, right. But right now, if you don't want like two bags, because when you are opening your bank or anything else, your auction house, for instance, you will open up two bags if you have an external add-on for your bags. If you don't have it, you will only open up the bags for your LFUI setup. And it is it is like one. Every all your bags are in one. What I tend to do is disable this. Then this uh, option would appear and press accept. And remember, again, everything I do here is in this DPS profile. All right? That was bags, buffs, and debuffs. We're going to get back to that in a moment. Chat, like I said, you can choose to have your chat however you want. Right? You don't, you don't have to have two different ones. You can move them around, change them however you want. There are different options here, which is completely optional for you to do. I like to have, have it like this. So you can just move them around. Also with the toggle anchors, move them around to have everything over here. Make sure your trade chat is also over here on your left if you want to. And completely remove this. Right? Good. Data text. Look down here on your left, depending where you want it. I like 24-hour clock because in my country, we have 24-hour clocks. Minimap panel, you see underneath the minimap on top. Do I want that at all? Guild 2, not many online, I see. Friends, 10, fine. Local time, blizzard style, yes. Show coins, nah, doesn't matter. Minimap left, what do I want to see to say here? Guild, do I want to see how much bonus armor I get? I got no bonus armor. Do I want to see how much my DPS is? It will then go up and down when I fight. What do I want to show up there? Time, I could have the time be told, told up there instead of, um, of my friends. It's actually not a bad idea, really. I'm just used to having there. I think it was guild. Yeah, guild. Where's guild? Guild somewhere. There you go. It's tooltip, on the other hand, is something that I really am having trouble finding out where I want. It's down here. We need to press toggle, toggle anchors. Get this forward. Tooltip down here. Now, what is tooltip? It is the tooltip that will tell you what it is that you're pointing with your mouse cursor. Visibility, if you go to the drop down menu here, visibility, combat, hide while in combat. Now we are going to set up how we want our UI to look, right? We just went through very, very detailed about anything else. So let's look at this unit frames. This, if you press this plus out here, you'll get everything with the unit frames down here. And this is like default for everything, smooth bars. Bars will transition smoothly. You can choose that or choose not. I never really touched this uh, because when my health drops down, as you, it, by, you can see it by here, it will turn darker and darker in the coloring. I like it because then it, it indicates to me, all right, you need to get healed ASAP. So I'm just going to leave it. But play a frame. So how does things look right now? We can't really adjust anything the way it is now. So I'm going to move around a bit with this just to make room for how I want it. Right. So I am going to do something first. Go up to action bars up here. Minus this action bars plus. We went through through the micro bar, which is out here right now. Bar one. Which one is bar one? That one. All right. How do I want this? I think um, I just decided to fast forward this bit 
because my phone rang and I was doing something else in the meantime. But I'm what I'm doing, I'm adjusting the different uh, bars to the sizes that I want by choosing the rows and how many buttons and if I want the backdrop or not. Uh, so it's really just a fast walkthrough on how I like to set it up. So you can set it up in the meantime, uh, however you choose to do it. But I'm just gonna leave it, it's a few more seconds and then we're gonna go further into what we're gonna do <laughs> uh, within the next part, what else we're gonna need. So what else do we need? I have all these buttons right here. So do I need anything else? I like to have my bar four out here above my trade chat. So bar four has backdrop, do not like it. Buttons per row, all the way and the other way. Toggle anchors, move it over here. Just this. And play around with it a bit. I like to have, I think it's nine, I like to have my button spacing. And of course, 25, because then I can move it down here and adjust it accordingly to how I like it. It's completely different from how you might like it. But I like it to be there. And I also like it to be mouse over. You see? So it's not appearing all the time. It's only there when I mouse over, when I actually need it. It's right there. Good. Bar 5. Which one was bar 5? You, sir. Do I really need you? Yes, I do. I need about five. So we are going to bottom Perot. Need it tall. Oh, yeah. Now I remember why I need it. And bottom spacing all the way over. Toggle anchors and move you here. Boom. Yeah. Now it's out there and mouse over. So it's not in my face all the time. Because I have all the key bindings I will need right in front of me. And also later on, when we're going to go through Tummy Wet and add on, you will see why I don't need all of these buttons in my face. Bar six, is there anything on this that I, that I'm using? No, no. So just disable that. I don't need it. And if you disable something, you can leave it where, if, wherever on the screen. It, it won't affect your gameplay at all. So I'm just going to put it up there because it's, it's not in the way of anything. Right, we went through the pet bus, but let's go down to unit frames right now. See, now I have these here, how I want them. So we're going to go down to unit frames. Press the little plus here. Play a frame. So this is where the actual fun begins. How do I want to set off my player frame? First of all, I need my target of target to be smack center of my own player frame. Target of target, click. It's, that's me, that's there. So, a bit smaller, 100, I think I'm gonna make it. And height, I think height 30 was right. Yeah, height 30 is fine. And then we're gonna go back to my player frame. How do I wanna adjust this? I can make it large player frame but I can also just make it as I think I usually do around 230 and a height of around 65 or so 60 let's make it 60 and we adjust this right there see I can't really move it any closer than this because it has an automatic adjustable area from this so I'm just gonna see what happens when I try because the sticky frame is on if I want to move it all the way up there I can I'm not gone I'm not going to right there one you see y-axis 158 y-axis 158 that means it's exactly where I want it same with target frame 158 can't move it any closer than this. So this is exactly where it should be. And we're gonna go to target frame. What did I do? 230 and 60. So we're gonna do 
230 and 60, same height. But one thing I'm gonna change because underneath myself, I will, you will see down up here, player frame, health. Let's just go down to cast bar, show height. This is a, uh, not a, maybe not as important for you, but it is really, you can press show height here, important as a player in general to see whenever, whenever the target is casting something and if you want to interrupt it or not. Cast bar on the target frame, drop down menu, cast bar, just show right now. I always have the, the cast bar of my target right smack in my face. Right here, I have it, I think I have it here, around, lock, why? Because then I can see and I can adjust to the situation way better if it weren't there. And the coloring down here. Oh yeah, non-interruptible. Be as red as you can be. Okay. And interruptible green. So I'm sure you will still see the text on it. Still see the text on it. But now I'm quite sure what to interrupt and what I can't interrupt. Just gonna make it a bit taller. 30. Yeah, 30 is good. 25 is better. Yeah, leave it there. That's fine. And I know what to interrupt. And we're gonna. I don't need to have it shown right now now that is done let's go back to the player frame here because i want to show you something um you have this drop down menu as well where you have the option to adjust the power name and so on and so forth if you like your portrait on your here and also off your target it's the, it's the same option you can have it as overlay completely adjustable how you want it now we're gonna get go through the very interesting part of this because if you see here now I'm on a hunter I'm marksman so see these buffs here I'm have I'm my own target now these buffs here they are just above me and counting down as well but they are also up here at my at my um, minimap to the left of that and I don't want them to be two places or maybe I do want them to be two places but I don't want to have them in my face as they are here, right? So there are various options for, for you to adjust that. So let's go first to the buff and debuff section up here. So if you change, if you just disable this, you will rem remove this and your debuff, you see this debuff, it's uh, right here, you will remove that as well, yeah. What I like to do is actually going down I tend to adjust the size of this debuff, or oh, sorry, this buff here. Because sometimes, because I'm so used to mousing up here or down here. So if I hurry, if I wrap this after three, then all the buffs I get will appear out here. So it's not colliding with the target cast bar up here or anything. I find it quite useful to have it down here. But what about this then? Still have two. Yes, but you can remove that. So if you go down to unit frames, player frame, same thing with your target and target or target, target, player frame, portrait, and aura bars. If I move around and disable this, it's gone. I will only have this here. But if you like it to see it here, leave it as it is. And here we are. We are on my paladin. Buffs and debuffs. Debuffs. And why do I go on my paladin? Because when I press this button here, I will get this forbearance debuff, which means I can't get, uh, what is it? Uh, cannot be affected by divine shield and so on and so forth. So this is my debuff. I'm, I, I'm adjusting this because I personally, like to know whenever I get a debuff on and how what to do with it. 
now, whenever I get a debuff, it's right smack in my face. See if we can make another one. Yeah, lay on hands. There we go. For Barons, it's right there, smack in the middle of my face. Never mind this big square, it's there. I can see I have a debuff, something needs to happen, right? That's how I like it. You might prefer something else. I like it right there and smack in the middle of my face. Good, that's the buff done. So there we go. What I have done now is actually just set it up the way that I like it the most. Um, as you see, it might differ from what you have on your screen now. I just have it like this because this is how I want it to be. Put my main tanks there, my main assist there, class bar and so on and so forth. Um, there are various options that I didn't really go through because I don't find them viable really. Uh, that would be stuff like skins and nameplates. I don't touch it. I don't really care about it. You could go and, and ex explore this and see if you like a different font or a different font size, however you want. And the difference in here, cast bar, above or under, and so on and so forth, right? But the one thing I would like you to, to really take in is every time that you choose to do something within any of these uh, profiles here, this is DPS, right? And you press install, then you will redo everything that you have done within that current group, within that current pro profile. And also with the reset, if you press reset anchors, all of these will go back to their original position. Yeah, and sizes and all. So don't press this button unless you are on a different profile, then you can do whatever you want, right? But I think I covered most of what might be, um, yeah, I did. I, I covered most of the important parts of this. If you go, if for instance, if you have the chat here, the fifth from the from the top, you could choose to people spam. Like, see this one, this guy down here. Anyone has an alchemy post? I have no idea how many times he wrote that, but I can't see more than two of those messages every forty-five seconds. That's a spam interval, a scroll interval of, 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 uh, of 15 messages per scroll and so on. And you can even put timestamps on your chat down here. So if I want uh, this, this is the way it looks. If, because I'm rolling on a 24 hour clock, I would like to see timestamps like this. So if I write hello, I would see a timestamp out here set 14, uh, 55. Um, 35, sorry, with anyone. So that's just the way I like it. Whispers, you can change the whisper tone and so on. There are many options in this, but I think just to covering up how to set it up, I think I've done that now. Um, now we are over here by the training dummies, Dungeoneers training dummies. I'm just gonna show you, for instance, one of the, the add-ons that I will be talking about. I will be talking about my ARC inventory the um, tell me when add-on, how to set this up um, for your classes, and also the mixed scrolling battle text. As you see, I don't have the default Blizzard UI battle text on me now. I have uh, mixed scrolling battle, and right now it's very in my face, and I, I need to adjust this uh, to, to my needs. But I will be going through that also in another video that will be linked on this one. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you like this video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. You can even subscribe to my channel and be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Make sure you check out the description below for links to my Twitter and Twitch.tv account. I play various games and stream as often as I can. Thank you for watching. This is Google. Until next time.